In 2021, YWCA South Florida was proud to launch the very first Economic Justice Council in response to the overwhelming need to address the disparities that exist for women and people of color in the workforce and having full opportunity to participate in their full economic prosperity. We were excited when we asked our community and corporate leaders to step forward in this first ever Economic Justice Council to have so many answer that call. And during this one year journey, they have developed a toolkit for all of us, for the corporate environment, for the public sector, for the private sector, to think about women of color in the workforce, attracting them to the workforce, and how the workforce is responding to making sure that they are successful. So we are extremely proud of what this Economic Justice Council has produced. We are extremely proud of the experience that they have gone through in understanding the lived experience and the choices and the day-to-day -day struggles as well as pride that women of color and people of color have in their families, in their communities, and in the choices they have to make in taking care of themselves. The next class of the Economic Justice Council will launch later in 2022, where we will again engage corporate leaders in the journey of understanding the lived experience of women of color and making sure that they can benefit from equity in the economy. My name is Al Dotson Jr. and I am managing partner of Bills and Sumber. Hello, I'm Beatrice Gonzalez, president of the Wilson campus for Miami-Dade College. Blaine Heckerman, CEO of Kaufman Rawson. My name is Matt Hagman, executive vice president at the Beacon Council, where I lead Opportunity Miami. My name is Marshall Pasternak. I am a uh, senior partner at the Bills and Sumber Law Firm here in Miami. My name is Vanya Laguerre, and I am a market executive with um, Bank of America here in Miami. I am Eddie Ariola, chairman and CEO of Apollo Bank. My name is Dexter Bridgman. I'm the CEO and founder of MIA Media Group. We're a multi-platform media company located here in South Florida. My name is Adrian McCoy. I am the chief HR officer for Baptist Health South Florida. My name is Glenn Davis, principal uh, emeritus of Kaufman Rawson. Let me tell you why I decided to become an inaugural member of the YWCA's Economic Justice Council. First, it's the YWCA. Second, the local leadership of the YWCA has continued to focus on the underserved communities and making sure that they participate in the economic growth of our community. And third, the group of people that the local YWCA pulled together to focus on economic justice was a stellar group from whom I knew I could learn. Justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. As a South Florida stakeholder, I am in part responsible for our community. We all are. The Economic Justice Council experience was meaningful to me personally. Besides affording me the occasion to expand my network of fellow individuals interested in the welfare of our South Florida community with a particular interest in women's career development, participation in the council allowed me to walk the talk by providing practical support to women of color in South Florida. I've always been a big believer in doing the right thing. Working with other business leaders who share that belief and commitment of empowering those in our community who need it most has personally been a rewarding and memorable experience. Participating in the Economic Justice Council gave Kaufman Rawson an invaluable opportunity to make meaningful connections with other leading organizations who share our values and commitment to making meaningful change. The most valuable takeaway is the importance of being aware of what is not being brought up, uh, what is not being said, and trying very hard to understand the biases which we each bring to any situation. Being a part of it, being someone that is um, conscious, um, and it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to give back, it's an opportunity for me to give back, it's an opportunity to share, uh, share it with our community. The experience of being a part of the Economic Justice Council uh, gave me personally a chance to expand my knowledge, to develop a greater understanding. It gave me access to individuals that are in our community 
that I don't often get an opportunity to speak to both those that are impacted by services, but also business colleagues in the community, uh, the ability to network, the ability to understand different perspectives really help broaden my knowledge as a professional uh, in this community, trying to make a difference in this space. Uh, the experience meant so many things to me, but a feeling comes to mind in considering this question of empathy and enlightenment. I, I, I experienced throughout the throughout the, the, the four or five or six sessions of the of the council, becoming more and more empathetic to the plight of individuals who are struggling, economically struggling in our community, and enlightened as to how I can be effective and help. We cannot leave any member of our community behind. Supporting and empowering marginalized women and families has a meaningful impact on lives and will help build a more solid foundation for the next generation. With a stronger community, we all win. The most valuable takeaway um, was both an expansion of knowledge, um, learning about some of the nuanced issues um, that exist, and also hearing diversity of thought and opinion the most valuable takeaway of being part of the Economic Justice Council was re-emphasizing the, the need to communicate. The most valuable takeaway for me as being an HR leader at Baptist Health is really understanding how the opportunities we provide make a difference in people's lives and where those needs um, still exist and where we can look at things differently, ways to not just be a great employer, but also be of great economic support. Regardless of whether I'm serving on the Economic Justice Council or whether Bills and Sumberg is represented on the Economic Justice Council, I and we will continue to focus on economic prosperity within our community through the work that we do on behalf of our clients and the way in which we engage in the community through Bills and Sumberg Cares associating with organizations like the YWCA who are equally focused on economic justice. What I would say to future members of the Economic Justice Council is bring an open mind and a willingness to think differently. For future members, I would say uh, welcome aboard. Uh, be willing to kick some tires. Be willing to look at things perhaps differently than you've looked at them before. Uh, give consideration to what role you individually can play uh, to empowering people and bettering people's lives. To future members of the Economic um, Justice Council, I would definitely advise to be willing to just talk things through. I would also say um, and advise future members as they come together to utilize the council as a way to think outside of the box. What I would say to future members of the Economic Justice Council is accept that you have to have a clean slate, um, that if you're, if you're being invited, chances are you've had some incredible accomplishments and you've done a lot, uh, not only professionally, but within the community that you're probably a service oriented person. You'll learn a lot and feel better about everything and feel that you're empowered to, to have an impact moving forward. What I would say to future members of the Economic Justice Council is dig in, be a part of this, uh, try to make every meeting connect, learn, be inspired and and take back what you can to your community, to your businesses, to inspire others to make a difference. You know, by everybody working together, that's how we're going to be able to really change things for the women in our community. If you have an opportunity to serve as a member of the EJC, do not hesitate for a moment. It will be life changing. It will, you will be enlightened. You will be inspired by the stories and by the people you will meet and learn about. You will be part of something very important.